Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a fluid fill logo effect using any SVG logo. Let's hop right in. The very first thing we wanna do is go ahead and open up a new file here and import our SVG logo. I'm using the Blender logo here, but you guys can use whatever you want. The very first thing I'm gonna do is kind of clean up this logo a little bit and then join any shapes together that I wanna use as a single mesh. Once I have what I'm looking for, I will scale my logo up a little bit and I'll extrude it and then convert it to a mesh. I'll also remesh the logo so that I have a better topology. It'll work much better with our fluid simulation. Now I'll just add in a cube and scale it down to fit the size of the logo. And we basically wanna create an imprint in the logo using the Boolean modifier. So just make sure you use the difference operation for this one. Afterwards, you can convert your cube to a mesh, and you can also give that the same remesh modifier that we used earlier, again, just to improve the topology. Now let's set up the liquid simulation by adding in a cube and applying the quick liquid effect. After this, we can scale down the domain to fit the size of our logo, and we'll move our liquid emitter, which is that small cube, to fit inside of the logo. I'll change the liquid type to inflow, and I'll duplicate my cube to different parts of the logo. These are the parts that the liquid will actually generate from. Now I'll change my domain's resolution to 200, change the bake type to all, and then I'll choose 120 as my last frame and bake. And here's the result of our liquid simulation. I think it's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and set up some lighting and materials. I'll start by adding a plane underneath of our liquid simulation. Next I'll add an HDRI environment texture for some basic lighting. I'll give our floor a base shader and the liquid I'll make into a metallic material. Now I'll add a camera to our scene and set up an orthographic lens with some slight depth of field for dramatic effect. For some added visual interest, I will move the fluid emitters down and add a turbulence force field with a value of 0.5. Now I'll rebake the simulation. Now things are looking much more visually interesting. Finally, to finish things up, I'll give my floor shader a basic brick texture and my liquid a custom metallic shader that I made. And here is our final result. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have a great day.